Hello there, it's Jay here from Jay's Vintage Junk, and today we are uh, back on with the old, uh, the old ZX81 project. Now um, I was hoping to show you, show you this um, playing on the ZX81 today. This is um, ZX Gobbleman, which is a 16K ZX81 game, and uh, unfortunately, um, my tape player here and my. Uh, my other tape player have both um, started uh, playing up on me. Uh, this one used to be a really, really good one, and um, unfortunately, I think one of these smoothing caps are part of the bri dial bridge has gone in it. Cause when you try playing it, as you can hear, it's got a horrific background hum um, in it. And my other one which is um, this one which did used to work absolutely fine is now chewing tapes so it looks like I'll be making a video in the not too distant future on um, servicing these old um, mono cassette players because uh, I'm not going to be using either of them until they've been um, sorted out because they, like I said they are damaging uh, they are damaging tapes fortunately I did put a test tape in the um, in the players before I um, tried my uh, original um, ZX Gobbleman so um, I haven't damaged anything and I'll just stick this under here while we're uh, playing as you can see the uh, Z is running and it's been running for some uh, it's been running for some time and the reason we can uh, play this is I have now upgraded this uh, ZX81 to um, internally 16k I have done it a very slightly different way than um, other people I've um, seen do it online um, I'll show you now exactly what I've done with this uh, Zeddy to get it to actually work with um, 16K internally. So we'll, uh, we'll just power it off so we can um, get in there and I can show you uh, what I've done. So let's, uh, let's turn him off and we'll disconnect the um, keyboard interface. I've been playing about with this. Um, I've been peeking and poking the uh, RAM just to make sure it is actually... Uh, working which it is like i said i was really hoping to show that uh that 16k game there at loading what i'm going to have to do is get some zx81 software on one of my laptops or one of my mp3 players so i can uh, load it like that but anyway let's uh let's get in here and i'll show you what i've um i'll show you what i've done let's move that and um if we have a look here can we uh i'll see if i can get you a little bit closer so you can perhaps uh you can perhaps see this a tiny little bit better. Let's have a uh, have a look. Let's see if I can get some more light on it as well. Let's uh, see if that helps. Does that help? Oops. It'll help if I could sit my uh, sit my desk down. There we go. And um, what I'm trying to show you is uh, this here. This is my um, 16K RAM upgrade. It's actually a um, it's got the potential to be a 32k RAM upgrade, but I need a, um, I think it's a 7404, um, 70, uh, 74 series Logic IC to be able to do that, to be able to um, basically get the other 16k off um, that chip. And I will say I've been having some fun. Um, I showed you on a previous uh, video this chip, which I uh, got a load of from China. I was saying I wasn't too happy with the way they'd been... Um, packaged well I don't know what's going on there because I um, spoke to the seller and he doesn't set he reckons that these chips aren't sent by him he doesn't think that the chip that he's sent arrived to me yet so I haven't got a clue where these have actually come from and what I have found out is they're not actually 32k by 8 either they're um, 128k by 8 um, I should have actually figured that out being that it's a 34 pin um, package not a 28 pin package but uh, I need to say, that will come in handy for something. I will still play um, play about with that. But I managed to um, get from a UK seller for not much more a 32K, a genuine, um, it was only two quid delivered, a uh, 32K by 8 IC. And I've basically done exactly the same thing and mounted it um, on one of these little um, TSOP to um, dip package boards. I'll just take this out so I can actually show you how it's um, basically how it works. 
Um, this is an entirely plug-in um, upgrade to the ZX81. Obviously, it wouldn't work with a ZX81 in a case. But when you've got a ZX81 built into something like this, then um, space isn't an issue. It's absolutely fine. But uh, basically, I'll just disconnect this, and I will uh, take it out and show you what we've got. It's basically entirely plug-in. We just remove it. And what we've got, we've got the... Uh, little 32k um, TSOP package there soldered onto the adapter board I have just used a piece of um, matrix strip board here as you can see um, that goes into the old um, RAM socket The um, it would have been originally 24 pin but I've got a 28 pin socket fitted to the actual um, Zeddy down there so we've got a 28 pin package there most of the pins actually line up between this IC, between the RAM IC and um, the original pins on the uh, board but there's just a few there's um, a couple of address lines and um, I think is it um, the cable select line or something like that are in slightly different places and um, all I've done is basically cut the tracks and bridged over using the matrix board underneath to um, get all the um, same lines in the right places and then we've got um, A11, A12 and A13 uh, which we need to pick up off the ZX81 board and that's these three wires here we've got um, A11, we've got A12 and we've got um, A13 there and how I, basically what I've done with them is I, um, I've i sold it I'll, can I see if I can um, perhaps just sneak that out of here let's have a quick look uh, it's not recommended doing this with a screwdriver, but I'm sure I can uh, manage it nice and gentle. Let's go in. Sorry, I'll just quickly ease that out. There we go. Basically, we've got the ZX, the Z80 CPU here, and all I've done is we've got A11, A12, A13, and A14, and I've just soldered three four pins on there I've soldered a14 on as well and I'll probably have to solder onto the m1 line as well because um, I want to take this thing up to 32k and we'll need a14 and we'll need the m1 line um, to be able to do that but for now like I said I'm using a11 a12 and a13 which is pin 1 2 and 3 on the uh, z80 CPU we'll stick him uh, we'll stick him back in the computer So he's, uh, he's back home and he's in the computer. And as I said, all we've got is we've got the RAM board there. I've had to add a little decoupling um, capacitor there because when I first tried this, it had boot up, it had run for perhaps five or six seconds and then the computer had crash. Um, since I added that um, decoupling capacitor there, that seems to have um, cured that little issue. So it literally, it just plugs in like that. And then these three wires just go over. I honestly don't think it actually matters which way around you get these. But um, I said we've got A11, A12, and A13 just plugged in like that. And there we go. That's reconnected. So that's the uh, that's the. 16k up to, at the moment 16k like I said I will be um, upping that to uh, 32k um, in the not too distant future and I may tidy this board up and um, what have you but for the now that does um, that does seem to work quite nicely like I said I'll just uh, I'll just demo it quickly for you again I can't type anything so I've disconnected my keyboard now but um, let's just put that up and we uh, switch it on and there we go. As you notice, it does take a little bit longer to come on, obviously, because it's got to. Oops, I think I must have touched something. Then let me just uh, let me just try that again. I think I might have um, just disturbed something. Like I said, everything's not quite uh, fixed. There we go. Sorry. Yeah, it's um, just while I'm messing about with it. Obviously, we've still got a few little um, loose bits. Um, I've got definitely got something loose in there. Let's just uh, try that one more time. I don't think I'll push the board down there and seated it quite properly. Let's try that one more time. Or I've had it on for two. Hmm. Hmm. 
Let's say we've had another failure. There we go. So yeah, I like say I still have a few little um, teething troubles to work out, but as you can see, it is actually um, working on my little 16k um, RAM upgrade. So uh, it, that isn't actually the first one I made. I uh, I made this one before that, which is actually you. I couldn't get this to work though, and I have a feeling it's that uh, the. RAM chip that I used there, it was just one I literally found in the bottom of a box and I think it might be duff. Um, that's the same, it's exa basically exactly the same thing, that's actually um, an SRAM um, cache chip from an old uh, 386 motherboard. But it should, uh, it's 32k by 8 um, SRAM and the pinout's the same. So that should um, actually work, that board should work, it's basically wired exactly the same as the board that I've got in there, but um, for some reason it is not working. I think I've got some more of them um, cash chips kicking about somewhere, so I might, again, see if I can actually get that one to work as well. Um, as I said, that I've not used um, for now. Uh, one of the main reasons is, what I did find out is this has got two chip slight lines on it, as where um, the, the original RAM used in the um, ZX81 and um, like this SRAM and the SRAM that I've actually used only have a single um, chip select um, line. This uses two and basically to um, enable chip select on the ZX81 it sends the, that pin low on this because it's got two of them it sends one low and um, the other one has to be set high to activate the chip now there is a way I could do that with um, a little inverter and what have you and um, so I only send one signal and invert the signal and send it to the other um, chip select line that should work but it's a little bit more hassle and um, seeing I've got a chip that actually works now um, I will keep these and um, perhaps play with them on another project like I said, and I will see if I can get that working just for the interest of actually uh, seeing, well, get it working like but I thought I would show you um, up to now what I've got and like I said show you that we've actually got um, a 16k internally modified ZX81 now like I said I know it's uh, I would have liked to show you it playing um, some 16k this 16k game here but uh, We'll have to see if we can fix our um, little tape recorder first, or I'll get some software um, on a laptop and we'll try and load it that way. So um, I think I'll leave it there for now. Um, hope, like I say, I hope you enjoyed just seeing that working uh, now. So uh, thanks for watching and goodbye.